Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing Nabla Cosmetics. So this month I picked up several of their products and I wanted to share you, share you? I wanted to share with you my thoughts on what I think about this cosmetics brand. So for those of you that are familiar with Nabla Cosmetics, they are an Italian indie brand and they are available at Ulta, but I think specifically only online. The first two that I wanted to talk about are their eyeshadow palettes. Their eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful. They perform so, so well. This is the Secret Palette, which I actually just picked up um, only, I think, a week and a half ago or something like that. Um, but I have been playing with this. I did a beautiful taupe eyeshadow look with this palette already. I can't wait to get into some of these more colorful shades here. And I also have their side-by-side -side nude palette, which is also stunning. I just, I have found that these eyeshadows not only blend really well, pigmentation is fantastic, wear time is really, really great. I just, there's not... It, they're one of the eyeshadow brands where I just feel like I haven't come across anything from um, their eyeshadows that I couldn't find myself really getting along with. And even if you just, even if I take a quick swatch of this, so this is the color Better Society. It's just so, it's so pretty. It's, I mean, that shine. It's just, it's unreal. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Love their eyeshadow palettes. Great job, Nabla. So my neck is going to get smaller in this one because these, their face powder products, I am just, and I have, I have, I have six of them here sitting in front of me. Ah, so <clears throat> let me talk about the good. Their blushes in this packaging, this is the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. Really good. I have the color Independence and Truth. And these are absolutely fantastic. They're easy to work with. They blend onto the skin really, really beautifully. It's just really fantastic blush formula to work with. I need to stop, there you go. It's just, it's really, really nice. Both of these blush shades are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're it, it, just great. So let's talk about the second best, I guess. So this is the same, it's in the same, packaging, same formula allegedly. I have two of their highlights. One is in Privilege and the other is in Ozone. And I'm wearing it right now and you can see that it does give your skin a very, very nice natural highlight. If you are looking for, if you are not someone who likes that blinding highlight and you just want your skin to kind of look semi-flushed, this would be really good for you. The only thing that I don't like about this is that I feel like it doesn't go on. It's not one of those really smooth formulas that just blends onto your skin really, really beautifully in the way that the blush is. I feel like when you apply it, it actually looks just a teensy bit dry, which it is a powder, so that's fair, but I definitely have found better highlight formulas where even if I just want something kind of, you know, natural, not a blinding highlight that just, for me, I think performs a little bit better. Now, the worst of their, of their powder products that come in this packaging, this is their Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder. I have it in Soft Revenge, which is a cooler toned uh, powder, and this one I use for contouring, and then Dune, which is more of that like bronzy shade. Ah. I am wearing them right now, and you're probably thinking like, oh, her skin looks really, really great. Yes, but the problem with these that is very, very different than the blush is that they are almost impossible to work with. I feel like when I am applying these, I am constantly taking my brush and just jamming it in there to pick up product, and it takes me literally about three or four layers to really build up the product to the point where I... I like it. So my issue with this is if you like to go slow with your makeup and you don't want anything that's going to be too much pigmentation all at once on your face, this could be a really, really great product for you. Um, for me, I like products, products that are easy to work with, something that I'm going to be able to throw on my face and run out the door to go to work or run out to whatever it is that I'm trying to do. This just takes a little bit too long to build up. Now, if you have the time and energy to build it up, you can definitely see, like, it looks it looks quite beautiful. Um, I just, I definitely don't think that I'm going to repurchase these. 
Um, however, when I finish the blushes, I will definitely repurchase the blushes because they are fantastic. Another product of Nabla that is really great is their Major Pleasure Mascara. This is the mascara that I'm currently wearing on my lashes. It, it comes in, you know, this kind of a very, very heavy, heavy, heavily bristly. <laughs> uh, it comes in a one that looks like this. It's not a, a plastic one. It's a pretty traditional one that's going to give you that heavy volume. The thing that I like about this formula is A, it's super, super black. Um, so you don't really necessarily need to add a lot of coats to really achieve that maximum volume look. And B, it wears really, really well throughout the day. I never really feel like it um, starts to flake on me or that it smudges. It's just all, all in all a really, really great mascara. So those are the products that I tried from Nabla this month. And then I just have two other products that I also um, did quite a few tests on. The first one is the Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs Extra Shot uh, Concealer, Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. So this is, I have it in two colors. I have it in light 180 and medium 200. So I actually fairly enjoy this product. However, I feel like it could be a little bit dry. So if you are someone where you uh, tend to be more on the dry side, maybe this product isn't going to be the best for you. But you can see that just even in these swatches, they are it's a full it's a full coverage concealer. Um, and you can definitely use it as foundation a lot of the time if I'm just trying to do something. If I'm just trying to do something really quick, what I'll do is I'll just kind of dot a little bit of concealer on the places on my face that I feel like are a little bit hyperpigmented, and I'll just blend it out and, and race out the door. So it works really, really well for that. Wear time on this is also fantastic. I don't notice creasing throughout the day. I don't notice it wearing off in really, really weird places. It blends out really, really well. My preference with these though is definitely with a beauty blender. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. And plus it just really, I mean, it just appealed to my soul because they're called the Extra Shot ca Caffeine Concealer and everyone knows I am a coffee addict. So there is that. And unfortunately, we're going to be closing the video, I guess, on a low note because this is another product that I had really, really high hopes for. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Skin Mist. You guys know I love, 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 love the butter bronzer. I love the butter blush. Even the highlight that comes in this collection are all fantastic. This spray is literally garbage. <laughs> And I say that in the most loving way to Physicians Formula because I actually really enjoy a lot of their other products, but I, I cannot with this. So setting spray wise, product works just fine, but they talk about how it's an ultra luxurious micro fine mist setting spray and it is not. So I'm going to, I don't know if you can see this. But do you see how when it sprays, it literally squirts out and then just goes down? So when I set my face, and this was like the very first time, the very first time that I used it, I was kind of upset because I felt like all of the setting spray ended up on my shirt and my lap versus my face. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just try that again and kind of squirt higher above my face to see if like maybe we could remedy that, there was no remedying this. So what I've done is I've actually poured some of it into another bottle that I think is, has a really, really good like nozzle on it and I've been trying it that way, but that's way, I feel like that's way too much work for a drugstore product. I don't know. And then you know what? It's not too much work for a drugstore product. It's, that's just too much work in general. So I would definitely, don't pick this up. It's not worth it. So yeah. Um, which really kind of brings me to the end of this video. Um, the absolute winners I would say of this month are the Nabla eyeshadow, eyeshadow palettes, their major pleasure mascara and the Marc Jacobs extra shot concealer, all really, really good products. If you enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and also like this video. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Today we are going to be reviewing. Oh my God, I forgot to wave. So, um, for those of you that don't know, I don't know either.
Wow, this show stinks. <laughs> it really does. <laughs>